Hey, y'all. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon, uh, Thursday, the 19th of January, 2023. It is 81 degrees Fahrenheit right now in Jacksonville, Florida. Humidity is 59%. We're supposed to get rain this evening. Uh, 27C. So... We are off to do battle with dragons. <laughs> now, uh, tutoring Thursday. I have no idea what we're going to do today. Which is kind of unusual. Usually I have everything planned and materials ready and everything else, so... May just do some drawing today. We'll have to see. It's a warm day. My air conditioning isn't working. Yuck. Uh, washed my hair last night. It just I wanted to stay in a ponytail. Oh. Uh, so my son's over painting the apartment. We got there, I don't know, about 11 o'clock or so. Kind of woke me up. I went back to sleep. <laughs> but so probably by Saturday. Everything should be done. Just depends on the floors. I'll be able to uh, advertise it for rent. Got a couple of nibbles already. So we shall see. Uh, anyhow. Let's see. I painted, I did some gnomes the other day. Excuse me. And I thought using dish detergent would be a good resist. And for the most part, it works. But it was not as effective as I would have hoped. I want to end up having to repaint the face and hands. Uh, but, oh well, it is what it is, right? I probably should have gone with white glue, but I didn't have any. Because I forgot to pick it up. Actually, I shouldn't say I don't have any. I probably have some. I'm just not sure where it's at. It's in one of my bins of art supplies that I keep going through and moving and then burying under other boxes. And... Yeah. Anyhow. So when my son came in, he moved a bunch of stuff out of the apartment. A couple bookshelves uh, came into, into my space. Unfortunately, right in front of the sink when I went in to make coffee. I had to take my medications, but wasn't anything unmanageable, just a little awkward. And then he moved some other stuff around. I'm going to have to dig through the porch and figure out where he put it. So, it's all good, right? If you watched yesterday's Riding and Rambling, I stopped and grabbed crock pot that was on the curb there was also a best fry I think it's called or best cooker something like that anyway it didn't have it didn't have the cord it didn't have the the insert and the lid was actually busted or it looked like it was busted so 
unfortunately, that's, you know, people throw stuff on the trash because it's not any good. But that was like a $70 or $80 piece if it had been working. And it's not unusual to find stuff that works. The crock pot did work. It doesn't have a lid to it. But that's okay. It works. I mean, I brought a... I filled it up with water. And it put it on high. And it brought it up to... Very hot. Like hot enough you can't... I couldn't stick my hand in it. So... That means it works. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Because <laughs> it does work. It's a little bigger than the one that I that I have. Which is a good thing. It's not it's not gigantic. It's probably, probably just under a gallon or around a gallon. Maybe. Maybe five quarts. I don't think it's five quarts. No. Because I used a gallon jug to fill it. And there was a little left in the jug. So, anyway. Uh, it's, a, it's a fairly nice size. So, I mean, I could make three or, you know, three or four meals at one time. And that's if I decide to keep it. It's finding a place to put it now. That could be the trick. But one thing, one trick that I've found or one hack that I've found for uh, large pots and stuff like that is to go ahead and put ramen and uh, other packaged foods in it. Um, to help keep uh, rodents and stuff like that away. I haven't had a rodent problem what my neighbor has. So. And what I mean I haven't had, I mean I haven't had recently. There for a while I did have a problem. I caught a few and then I started using a, uh, a spray that I make up using uh, Peppermint oil, cinnamon oil, and some cloves. And then sprinkle whole cloves around. And so far, knock on wood, it's, it's been working. Stopped and got ice. I had a question. I think it was Richard asked, you know, what I what we pay for ice. I don't know if I talked about this yesterday or not. I know I've talked about it in the past, but we get they let us get ice a cup full at a time, and like they don't really worry about the size of the cup because some of them sell these giant. Uh, jugs 60 64 ounces or something so most places don't say a word and if they do it's like well okay I'll pour it back <laughs> or I'll catch you next time I wasn't you know I didn't bring a quarter to buy ice this time because nobody charges It is nice to have a freezer full of ice, like the, the cubes and what have you, to make a drink really, really cold, right? You know, real quick. I used um, the, uh, the little containers that the quick macaroni and cheese or the quick rice come in. I've also got a few from. Um, I forget what yogurt it is, YOLO yogurt or something. And then the little the little fruit cups or applesauce 
cotton cups. Uh, they make you know, ice cubes that are an inch and a half around up to what, about two inches around and an inch or inch or so deep. So those big ice cubes last a while. AC is not doing anything at the moment. Uh, more issues, more issues. It doesn't even feel like it's blowing cold air at the moment. I hope that doesn't mean the fan went out too. The son's trying to get my van fixed, but he keeps having other things he needs to do, like spending an entire day to day painting the apartment. He's treating it, <laughs> treating it like one of his high dollar properties. I mean, they came in and, and patched holes and, and little little pinholes, sanded it all down, primed it. Lipstick on a pig. Oh man. The sky over that way is showing some rain. I just realized I don't have my earpiece. I got that window open. Hopefully it wasn't drowning you all out. I'm going to have to listen back to it. At least part of it. Uh. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Sometimes it's hard to come up with stuff to talk about when you're doing this stuff every day. And then you end up repeating yourself and not even realizing it. Kind of like the ice thing. Oh man, the way the sun's coming down reflected off of those tuckboats over there. That'd be an interesting shot. The way to get it. Oh. See, some stuff like oh, it, it just continues to pester, pester me, I guess, is like commercials that are idiotic. It's like they, they handed their, they went to a grade school and said, what would you say, you know, about this product or whatever? And it's bad enough when it's a product that you don't need or you don't use, but when it's something that you do use, I don't know, I think it's like the latest, one of the latest Geico commercials. It's like the, the dude is, or, 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 I think it's a dude. I don't know. I get so aggravated at it, try to try to dismiss it right away, or turn the volume down off so I don't have to listen to it, or whatever. But 
Anyway, one of the one of the newest Geico commercials just it made it makes me upset that I actually use Geico. It's like, is that what they really think of their customers? I mean, it's insulting on multiple levels. At least in my mind. So. Uh, I don't know. I guess it gets results. It's, I guess it's kind of like complaining about YouTube, YouTubers that, that, um, do their own commercials. It's like, yeah, I don't think so. You know, um, we are sponsored by Yabba Dabba Dabba. And then they go in and start, you know, extolling the virtues of it. It's like they're reading off of the script that Yabba Dabba Dabba gave them. And you know that they don't use it by, they don't use it themselves. Were there some of them that do a real production on it? Uh, Heavy D, uh, Sparks Motors, uh, something like that, is one of those. And they do a, you know, they do a lead in and like jump right into, right, jump to the commercial and then go back to their, to what the, you know, the original video was about. I don't know. I mean, I get it. They need the, they need the ad revenue and video and channels like uh, heavy, heavy sparks, um, diesel brothers, whatever. I mean, they've got a big operation going. So they need, you know, a good inflow of, of cash that I'm sure YouTube doesn't doesn't provide. So, in a way, I get it, but don't give up your day job. You know, I mean, for the most part, for the most part, the smaller YouTubers, I mean, they try. They get the they get the information out. But it's just. Is it really worth? Is it really worth your time to you know have to have to redo a a commercial three or four times over to get it right? I got a truck in front of me. I can't see this light. All right. Like I said, it's just kind of a small, small rant. And the ones that, the commercials at the beginning of a video, at least on my PC, I can click back to previous video and then click forward to that video and it wipes out the first two commercials. You can't do that during, to the ones that are interspersed throughout the, throughout the video. And some people understand, you know, they've got like a 20, 23 minute, 25 minute, half hour video. Um, and they put one commercial in. Then there's the others that'll do like a commercial every five or six minutes. And sometimes it's a single short video. Other times they run two longer videos, two longer commercials. And you have to get at least halfway through the second one in order to skip. I mean, I get it. They want the, they want the ad revenue. But is it really worth? I don't. I, I guess it is. I guess because I'm not in a, in a position to to do it or to need to do it. Might be a little sour grapes but it is what it is you know it's just it's one of those things that it's a little aggravating to me and yes I get it I get it they have to you know they have to get paid content somehow YouTube needs to get paid yeah, that's why they do the commercials I mean I was supposed to be non-monetized so 
There shouldn't be commercials on mine because I don't get any money out of it. But, but, YouTube, you know, throws commercials in on my stuff all the time. So, not much I can do about it. Complaining wouldn't do anything. So, Seriously, driver? Did the light change red or something? Oh, I'm stuck behind a truck. There goes the truck. I guess the light did turn. Ooh, man, that sky is looking... Looking like it wants to rain all over us. Not a big cloud. Uh, not a huge cloud, but it's definitely dark. Of course, you're facing the wrong way to see it. I would have to turn you, I don't know. 300 degrees and this mountain doesn't do that oh. I foresee some more work going on I need to empty out a bunch of stuff off of the off the porch stuff my brother left for me and then just miscellaneous furniture and stuff pulling the stuff that I that I left over there because I did a couple of short videos over in the other apartment because I could so hopefully that officer doesn't slow down I was doing a little, a little more than I should have been doing. But yeah, it's just one of those I need to, to be puttering and doing, you know, short, uh, short bursts of cleaning and reorganizing because a lot of the stuff that's down there needs to come up to my place, which means, you know, up and down steps. And I'm only good for a couple of those at a time. Like, uh, three trips in 15 minutes is, you know, my pacemaker saying, hey, hello. So, but it's not set to do that. But, anyhow, we are coming up on the last turn, so I appreciate y'all hanging out with me, listening to me babble and rant, and, uh, yeah, let me know what you think, give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Wherever it is, y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fantastic. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. So I see y'all again. I hope you have a fantastic. Watch it, y'all. Ooh, it got dark. <laughs>